how do you prevent chafing in your groin area when you're riding. I'm going to be talking about that in just a minute and making some product recommendations. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. never thought that I would say anything negative about horseback riding but I do want to raise here one of the things that we have to deal with sometimes and sometimes it's all of the time when we're riding and that is chafing um, if you're a woman you you know the area that's going to be especially tender in your um, groin area and uh, it happens for men and it happens for other athletes in other sports as well. Bicycling, uh, runners have to deal with it. So there's other athletes that have to do with it and there are products that can help. One of the most important things you can do when you're riding is actually prevent yourself from getting chafed to begin with because once you do get chafed in a tender area, uh, you really have to let it heal. It's hard to keep riding uh, day after day on top of that, even though there's some things you can use to help with the pain, but the very first, most important thing you wanna do is prevent it from happening in the first place. So there's a couple of things that I highly recommend, some products to put on before you ride, every time you ride. Uh, the first one is actually a new product. This is Vaseline All Over Body Balm. I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see what it looks like. It's in this little travel size. I think you can get them in larger sizes too. This is a real convenient size and it is a stick that you uh, roll out almost just like a deodorant stick. You can roll it back in. Uh, and this is uh, a jelly stick. So uh, you, you can see like runners would probably use this uh, on their thigh area, in between their thighs uh, to keep that area from friction, chafing and getting irritated. Uh, so you really just uh, roll it on uh, the area that you need to roll it on. I've tried it now uh, a couple times, three times, three, three uh, days in a row riding and I did not get chafed. This has worked really, really well. So I'm going to link all of the products below that I'm talking about. So this is Vaseline, it's very inexpensive. I highly recommend trying this. The second product that I am going to recommend, a lot of people use this and a lot of people will recommend this. A lot of riders will recommend this. It's A and D ointment. So this is, you can find this in the diaper rash, baby department of drugstores. Um, both of these products, uh, you'll find them in drugstores. This one you can order it online, Walmart. I'm going to link them below. A and D is, it is a diaper rash ointment, but it helps a lot, both in prevention, but also after the fact, once you do get chafed, if you get chafed, it can help um, help it to heal, just like it might help a, or will help a diaper rash area. So I highly recommend A and D ointment. Many endurance riders use this. Uh, many riders. So a couple other things I'm going to recommend are two um, undergarment products. Uh, one of them is uh, underwear under your britches and this will help prevent um, chafing as well as just being comfortable to wear under your riding pants, your riding tights or your riding breeches. These, both of these products are made by the company called Anita, that, like the woman's name. I'll link that below. They make athletic wear, they make athletic bras, and they make these rider um, pants or breech pants that you can uh, wear under your breeches, and they're great. I'm gonna show them to you right now. These are Anita's. The really cool thing about how they are made, they're, it's a polyester blend. Um, they're very soft and they're very almost silk-like, so your riding pants um, go up over them really easily. They, um, they're they also thin and they, they wash and dry out really fast. They dry really fast. And the seams are not anywhere in the uh, groin area. There are other places, so there's no seams where your seat is and where you will be 
um, hitting your saddle or where you'll be hitting your groin area. So that is really cool about these Anitas. I have two pairs. The other really cool thing about them is the, the legs are like above the knees. They, they cut off above the knees and um, they don't roll up when you have your breeches on. A lot of times if you just try biker shorts, uh, regular ones that are just sold everywhere in different manufacturers, uh, they they roll up um, under your breeches and you're constantly having to reach down and try to smooth that out because it's uncomfortable. These do not roll up. It's just the way the seam is made. It, it stays in place. It's elastic, but it doesn't roll up under your legs. So I, I really highly recommend Anita breeches underwear uh, for women. My last product recommendation, my final product recommendation, is um, also an Anita athletic bra. Um, this is something that we're always dealing with too as women riders, what will keep us in place but be comfortable, something we can ride in for a long time if we're doing endurance or trail riding, but uh, really will help us from a lot of up and down movement when we're trotting and cantering and so forth, which, which can be painful. And this is uh, the product that I really recommend. It's uh, one of the Anita bras. It's, um, it's actually super support and it's you know got a pretty wide uh, band in the back, adjusts in the shoulders, but as you can see, the shoulders are not really huge. They're padded up here. So they're really comfortable and the adjustments here in the back and it's just they're, they're it's just a super comfortable but super a lot of support i hope you're enjoying today's video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to a life with horses hit notifications so you don't miss any future videos and i look forward to seeing you in the next video